Welcome to Bible Reader Companion. Our Bible reading this week is Romans chapters 2 through 11. Our memory verse is Romans chapter 6 and verse 23, which in the New King James reads, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. We talked yesterday about the fact that the consequences of being in sin and remaining in sin are very severe and that it's a life or death scenario. But here's the question. Why do we need to worry about those wages? What if somebody says, you know what, I'm not guilty. You know, if I get a bill from, uh, let's say a hospital in Montana, you know what, I know I can ignore that bill. You know why? I never visited that hospital. I haven't uh, done anything to incur those charges. I, I don't owe them anything. And I don't have to worry about the consequences of of not paying a bill for somewhere where I haven't done anything. Uh, I don't have to worry about uh, fulfilling any other responsibilities for things that I didn't do. And so maybe we could make that argument. So I don't don't have to worry about death because I'm not a sinner. Well, in our Bible reading this week, that issue is addressed. Let's go back to Romans chapter 3. And we're going to begin reading in verse 21. And he again is drawing the contrast between righteousness and wickedness and the the consequence we need to understand. Romans 3 and verse 21, but now the righteousness of God apart from the law is revealed, being witnessed by the law and the prophets, even the righteousness of God through faith in Jesus Christ to all and on all who believe, for there is no difference. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God set forth as a propitiation by his blood through faith to demonstrate his righteousness, because in his forbearance God has passed over the sins that were previously committed, to demonstrate at the present time his righteousness, that he might be just and the justifier of the one who has faith in Jesus. And he talks here a lot about the righteousness found in Jesus Christ. And we might say, well, why does that matter to me? Why does that matter to my neighbor? Why does that matter uh, to, the, to, to my friends and to my family? Maybe they're not touched by that. Maybe they're not affected by that. But verse 23 hits the core of all that. Why is this important? For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Outside of Christ, there is no one who has ever walked on the face of the earth who has not committed sin and therefore stood guilty of sin and worthy of the death penalty. Now, how do we get away from that? It's interesting in verse 26, he wants to demonstrate at the present time his righteousness. Here's God's here's God's conundrum. God is a just God. God cannot overlook our wickedness. All are sinners. Well, how do you deal with that? How do you overcome the fact that, number one, the wages of sin is death, if you do this, you deserve to die, and everybody has sinned, therefore everybody deserves to die. Well, that's where Jesus comes in. Verse 25, God set forth as a propitiation, that is, a substitute. He sent Jesus to pay our debt. You know, a lot of times at the holidays, you'll hear these stories of people who have items on layaway or who have other debts, and someone comes in and pays those debts for them. And suddenly there's a great relief. Now, these are debts that they owe. They have honestly and truly racked up the debt and the, and re- required to make the payments that they have, whether it be medical debt, debt whether it be a, things that they've put on layaway, whether it be credit card debt to pay other bills or whatever it may be. They literally, truly owe that money. Somebody steps in and says, I tell you what, I will pay that debt on your behalf. And that's what this is all about. We are sinners. And we have a debt that we cannot pay. The wages of sin, the rightful payment of sin, is death. But Jesus has come to be our righteousness. He's come to be our substitute. So let us remember why it's so important that we become Christians, and that we serve him, and that we find the righteousness that is found in Jesus Christ. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Thank you for thinking on these things, and we hope you'll join us again tomorrow.
Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook for more content like this.